This podcast was brought to you by Uncle Jeep Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Driven Jeep Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is host Trip Media Gaming, and I'm not doing the intro this week, Trip. I'm not doing Woo! it. You know why? Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Because it's freaking happening, Drip. Drip. It's actually I happening. I know. It's so Nintendo. Exciting, finally. Nintendo finally. has finally, finally, officially acknowledged the Nintendo Switch successor. And that is what they acknowledge. They did not acknowledge the Switch 2. They did not acknowledge the Switch Pro. They acknowledge the Switch successor. And we yeah. are going to talk about what that means. And we're also going to talk about the rest of the Nintendo business, whatever the, whatever the, whatever much you call it, you call it. Investors meeting. Investors meeting, or what I said. Just say what Financial I said. Financial briefing. Um, write that down. Um, but Drip, it's a funny story. You're not going to be able to hear this, but the people will. I, I'm just going to play a, a quick clip drip if, if there's anything that we know about nintendo it's that they can do anything at any time whenever they want that is right and it was me drip saying nintendo can do anything at any time whenever they want and that is exactly what they chose to do the <laughs> other morning they chose that clip was from like last year or something but that's, know, that's that golden is the most broadest thing to ever say <laughs> in the fucking world well, nintendo can do anything they want anytime well so can anybody else whatever well, no, this but, just proves it because at like four in the morning or whatever time it was for you locally, they decided to drop a big tweet. And this was, yeah, was not like coincidentally coinciding with that investors meeting. And we'll get to that. We, Drip has some good insight on that. And we'll get to that a little bit later in the show. But but yeah, we're going to get to all of that. It, it's Nintendo released a tweet. If you did not hear, if you've been living under a rock uh, as a Nintendo fan, Nintendo dropped a tweet from Furukawa himself. He literally tweeted. He got his phone out. Woke up at 4 a.m., took a swig of water, washed well, he his was, face. Well, he was in Japan, you know, so, you know. Washed, oh, that's right. It's in the middle of the day for him. He, you know, he, got, yeah. he walked over to his phone and was like, I need to, I'm going to tweet this myself. Me, Furukawa. I'm going to get my phone and tweet with my fingers. Yeah, uh, he I wonder if he, the social he, media guy like, uses, hey, what's the password? Can yeah, I get yeah, that password, yeah, please? Yeah. The, 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 uh, what's what do you, the email? What do you think? Do you think uh, Furukawa's a, a, tech, a swipe to text kind of guy, or is he a individual text to type and if he does individual buttons are we talking fingies like pointer fingers uh, i think are we talking one a, finger are we talking a, thumbs? Hold the phone with this hand and type with one finger with this hand like this Very uh, close. No, like really close though right like really because yeah, he's, he's an old yeah, he's, an he's old definitely guy that guy he's, yeah, he's this like guy. my dad just like way up in the face yeah that's, that's dude. My dad, that's when my parents he, were here, my dad's phone. I mean, God bless him. He he's had eye issues his entire life. He's legally blind, um, but he had surgery to correct that. So he's but he still can't see that well. So his phone is just blown up. Like the text on everything. He's got like the old man. Like everything yeah, my, is my, huge. My older brother's phone is like that. It's like man, I can read <laughs> everything on your phone from the other side of the room. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Like you have zero privacy, just so you know. Like I can't help but read it. It's, it's literally <laughs> just burnt into my eyeballs. The text is so big. <clears throat> that is uh, right. There's other stuff too, though. There's other stuff. There's lots of other stuff. This has been a good week, man. Oh my god, this has been the best. Like week I of just our show. feel like. Listen, I feel like. I feel like we're fucking back, man. I feel like we're back. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, I haven't made a video other than anything except for just reviews of accessories but i felt like you know what this video is going to be four minutes long and i'm making it and i give zero fucks i made it speaking of reviews drip we have another five star review to bring to you guys this week Ooh. uh if you guys didn't know we're giving away a 50 dollars eShop gift card to a random winner uh, randomly selected from our all of our Apple Podcast five star reviews. So if you want to enter, make sure to click the link down below to, uh, or just you know search us up on Apple, leave us a review there. If you don't have an Apple account, make an account. And if you know what, I'm not gonna tell anybody. If you make multiple accounts, I'm not gonna tell anybody. All you gotta do is oh, prove. No. All you gotta tell. All you gotta do is prove that you're the one who made the the, the account. Uh, and and everything like that, and we'll get you'll win. Um, anywho, make, two, make three. <laughs> I'm not make four. Uh, but so this week we'll we'll read this week's review from Get Pinked. Uh, this review came to us on March first. I'm sorry, May first. 
It's gonna be May. No, it already was May. Stop, uh, just read I it. I recently <laughs> learned about this, this podcast and love it so far. Became a member and definitely looking forward to the fun content and special member content. That's right, we do members podcasts every single month. Great podcast review. for all of your Nintendo and video game interests. Thank you. Get pinked. Get pinked. It's just one of those days, Drip. Come and get it. Come and get it. Uh, appreciate that review. It's just one of those oh, please do it. Just do it. Come on. I want to live it it's up just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. Everything is... Everybody sucks. If we get ding for that, I'll be sad, but it's okay. It was worth it. We're not gonna. Why did you give me the, <laughs> the edited version? Well, I mean... I don't know. It was honestly, it was by accident. And I feel like getting, we're them, allowed to say fuck, but Fred's not allowed to say fuck. Well, this episode, That's we're trying cool. to keep it light. Cause we're, we're going to put just at the end. We're going to put, a, we're going to put end. a portion of this episode on droops, YouTube channel. We believe this week. So we're going to hopefully, or at least as long as it doesn't next week, suck. We'll, yeah. It will make sure it doesn't suck. Uh, it'll be drips off. It does. <laughs> yes. As always. Um, speaking of, <laughs> uh, does it suck or not? Let's talk about the Nintendo world championships. NES delish, uh, edition. That's big news. Yeah. You're, you know what? You're going to have to tell me all about it because I saw that it was a thing today. But again, I have been so ho, ho, ho busy today. I have not even got a chance to stop and look and see what it is. Um, well, Drip, I, there's a little video that I guess I'll play. It's not going to, I'm not with audio, of course. Um, but I'll just read this little tweet from Nintendo. In 2024, the Nintendo World Championship returns. Test your speed running skills in 150 plus challenges from classic games like Super Mario Bros. 3, The Legend of Zelda, and Donkey Kong when Nintendo World Championships NES Edition hits Nintendo Switch on July 18th this year. So it's basically 150 plus mini games that okay. you essentially speed run. And the mini games consist of old NES Nintendo games, such as Super Mario Bros. 3, Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, etc. So here's the big thing about this game, Drip. Here's the big thing. It, it, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Here's the here's the sucky part about this drip. Here's the sucky part. There is no online oh, no. support for this game so Ooh. it's only couch co-op oh really yeah and that's pretty dumb that is pretty pretty dumb if you ask me drip um i will say this it is there's a good part about this this game is only going to be 30 bucks so that it's not online that is a win, though. I mean, thirty bucks I mean, is going to be a lot of fun. This game's going to bring a lot of fun. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get this fine. game. I'm going to stream this game. This will be some fun. But the crap part is, there's no online play with your friends. There's couch co-op. There is no the online. Nintendo. World. Is this a real thing? Did this happen? This is happening, dude. This I'm playing the trailer no, no, of the no, game. No, 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 not really, yeah, This no, is kind of dumb, really. But I'm going to switch. Did, did, were the Nintendo World? Is this a real thing? Uh, is that a real thing that I was just watching? In the 90s. In the 90s, dude. I, actually, I'm going to play this part of it because this part of it seems to be the actual trailer if you're watching this podcast. Um, yeah, it's, it's it, what do you mean? Is it real? I mean, I know the game's real. It looked like that was like an actual like Nintendo championship thing. Like, no, is that yeah, I, I was thing? playing. I guess the first part of the trailer is like this weird part. Let's not dwell on the trailer. It, it's a bunch of Nintendo, uh, Nintendo games turned into mini games trying to complete as fast as you can to speed run, basically. Okay. Um, I mean, whatever. It looks cool. It's fine. Whatever. That sucks. It's not online. Yeah. That'd be really cool to do online, but. I have some even. Uh, this news gets even more mid drip. Even more mid. Oh, wow. Um, you really just drop. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, the Nintendo Switch uh, World Championships NES Edition Deluxe Set for the North American people includes, if you can see, if you're watching, a, uh, an NES gold cartridge replica. I see that. Full yeah, size. That's cool. Yeah, with sleeve cool. attached. I think I that. that is incredible. Honestly, that cool. looks yeah. spectacular. It also comes with a bunch of like uh, box artwork from all, from a lot of the games in within the I game. See, is that those cards are on like the, the Yeah, it looks like the old box art from That's cool. Yeah. And of course it comes with a physical disc as well. That's going to be 60 bucks. I think that's worth it. I will not be purchasing it cuz I am broke, but that seems incredibly worth it. That seems really cool. I'm down to clown with that. I think that I think I actually like everything about this minus the online. Yeah. I mean, that's a big, I don't know. That's a big thing. It sucks. I would be much more interested if it was online. I agree. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play this by myself. There's no way. Well, like I said, Drip, you and I 
I, we could stream it. We're streamers. We could do that. Yeah, I will that's do that. True. I will not be playing this like very much offline unless I'm having so much fun with it that I can't stop. I'll be honest. It's, that's some like for example, like F Zero when that came out, that was a lot of fun, and I was playing a lot on my own. Not a game I thought I'd be playing a lot, but I was. Oh, F Zero ninety nine. Yeah, F Zero ninety nine. Yeah, <clears throat> it was good. Yeah, I'm excited to try like the Zelda stuff and the the cur- all the the first party games in, in this. I'm really excited to try Mario speed running. It like I'm I'm hoping here's my my fear is that it's too easy. That is my fear. So hopefully it is actually. I like, mean, this a was at the challenge. World Championships, man. <laughs> it's the, the World, world Championships. Champ isn't easy. <laughs> I mean, this game's basically impossible. That's right. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be really cool. That's officially announced. That that was announced already. Um, and the investors meeting had more stuff in it. Uh, it had stuff like the July or the sorry the June Nintendo Direct. They, they, Nintendo has confirmed that there will be a direct in J- in June, and we will get to that in just a segment. But before we do that, today's sponsor is what we need to get to. And yeah, today's sponsor do. is Fixture Gaming Drip, and more uh, specifically the Fixture S2 Drip. I know you've used a ton of Nintendo Switch accessories. There's nothing quite like the Fixture S2 in the market. The Fixture S2 connects the Nintendo Switch OLED uh, to the Pro Controller, a comfortable, reliable alternative to Joy-Cons. If you're like me and find the Joy-Cons be cramped and actually hurt your hands a little bit after a period of time, the Fixture S2 is exactly what you're looking for. Drip, I know you've been, you've uh, worked with Fixture in the past, and you've owned the Fixture 2 for a while. Uh, I I have. I've had I have the Fixture S2 here for the OLED. I had the Fixture S1 for the regular Switch, reviewed both of them. But uh, the cool thing is now it's not just for the Pro Controller G. Now they have a version that fits the 8-Bit Do Ultimate controller, which I have it in right now. So if you have the 8-Bit Do Ultimate or the Ultimate C, you can now use the Fixture S2 with that as well. That is awesome. You can also it save is. 10 bucks with code DRIPMEDIA at checkout. I checked it. It works. It also stacks with their other sales going on right now. I believe That's they're huge. still going on. That's great. Hopefully they are still going. They were going on last week. Hopefully they're still going on for you guys this week. But make sure to hop on their website. We do know we have our, we have one person, Sims, uh, a member of the of the podcast, member of our community. Sims has already purchased oh, yeah, he posted his, his fixture the too. The other day. That is yeah. awesome. We're so glad to see he was able to take advantage of this offer. So guys, if you want to take advantage of the offer, make sure to hit, hit the or description down below their website is fixturegaming.com click the link and of course uh they you can use our code drip media to get ten dollars not ten percent ten dollars off your order and there's a flash sale like i said 25 bucks off uh your order so make sure to take advantage of all that stuff right now still going on thank you fixture for sponsoring today's episode drip Jeeves. I feel like I'm back, baby. I've been oh sick God, for the last few weeks. Everybody stay calm. I've been sick for the last few weeks, Drip. I'm back. I feel good, better than ever He's right now. Back. I'm back, He's baby. Back. I'm back, and Nintendo is back, and and they had their shareholders meeting. <laughs> and following the shareholders meeting, that Furukawa was so generous enough to drop us, to drop us a beautiful tweet. One of the weirdest tweets we're ever going to read in our history. The most it casual. Was it was strange. The most casual. Oh my god! Hold on. Tweet. Yes. Of so huge casual. news of all time. Did you watch? I have to bring this up because I <laughs> laughed so hard yesterday when I watched it. Did you watch Arlo's video yesterday talking about this? Yes. When he's talking about, <laughs> he's just talking about people at Nintendo just trying to do weird ass shit online, <laughs> like just <laughs> announce just weird shit in the weird ways. Like, yes. Watch this. Hey. <laughs> There's a Zelda movie coming. Here's a tweet about it. And it's going to be this and it's going to be that. Like, oh, the Switch 2 is coming out this year. Like, it's just, it's so weird the way they've been making these, like, what seem to be massive announcements just that way. Yeah. And, and the Direct, the Direct was also in there. And we got all the, uh, we all had all the stuff from the investors, uh, from the investors meeting. What do we start with? Are we doing the investors or the, uh, the, uh, the direct stuff first. Um, well, let's get to the investors meeting because that was first chronologically in the in the world of the time of the world here. Um, at this investors meeting, Nintendo revealed as they always do their sales and their updated Switch sales. And as of now, the as of the end of Q4 2023, the Nintendo Switch is currently ranked number three all time at 141 million units sold gobble 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 
um, and is nice. number two overall in Nintendo history, just yeah. behind the DS. The DS is at about one fifty. Like, I'm pretty sure if you look into what they're what they're forecasting for the the next year, they're gonna they should they're gonna be really close, if not past the uh, the PlayStation Two, and be the best selling console of all time. Yes, uh, that is nuts. I mean, we say I feel like we say this every single time we talk about the investors meetings, but every single time it's just so damn impressive what they've been able to do over the past seven years. And it's just yeah, it's slowing down, but like it's nuts, man. 141 million sold. Nuts. And it's gonna be more. It's gonna be more because we still have probably a, a year of this thing, I would say. And we know we're getting new games now because we're about to have a direct. So it's going to keep selling. It's going to keep selling. I'm sure there's going to be a discount. I'm sure there's going to be some other things they're probably going to throw at it. Uh, bundles, something to try to get people to to keep buying them. Yeah. But I think it's going to do it. I think it deserves it, man. It's, it's nuts. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the games. Can you pull up the game sales? Because that, oh. yes, sir. That is the craziest part of all of this, in my opinion. And I mean, whatever. We don't need to talk about Tears of the Kingdom. It fell off a cliff, hit the brick walls at 20 million. Uh, Mario Party, Super Mario Party, the shitty one, the bad one. <laughs> well, is, uh, let me I just go ahead. It. Let me go ahead, Drib. Let me go reveal the, the top 10 games right now for Nintendo Switch. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, 17.45 million, number, number 10. Number nine, Tears of the Kingdom at 20.61 million. Super Mario Party, 20.66. So That's Tears of the Kingdom insane. will pass. I think Tears of the Kingdom will pass Super Mario Party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It will. Yeah, Especially it will. when the next God, console people, gets released. Hey, public service announcement. Stop buying that fucking game. Please stop buy the other one. Please. It's, it's such a bad game. Don't the buy other Super one is so Mario much better. Party. Buy the other one. It's way better. It's way better. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no problem, Drip. Uh, next up is Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet, 24.92 million copies. And then next up after that is Pokemon Sword and Shield, 26.27 million. Next up, Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario, 27.96 million. Next up, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda, that is, 31.85 million. Next up, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, 34.22 million. And now is where we get, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we get to where the numbers start to get really inflated. Uh, Animal Crossing, number two. Nintendo Switch game selling. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, that is 45.36 million, a whole 11 million higher than number three. And number one drip, drum roll please, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The game That's what I want to talk that is about. being sold... At full price for the last eleven years is cur and we're only talking about the switch years in this case. This is only the switch years. Sixty one point nine seven million, sixty two million copies sold of the Switch version of Mario Kart eight. The, like sixty two million copies of a port. Of a port. It's the highest selling game on this. I wanna put that I wanna put that into perspective. This is absolutely crazy. 62 million copies of a port. It's a good game. It's a wonderful game. But let me let me let me just give you some facts here. Do you know this is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth best selling game of all time ever? It's uh, the you sixth. informed me. Now listen. It's if you if you combine the Wii U and the Switch, it's uh seventy point four million. It's still number six if you take away the Wii U stuff. It's still <laughs> number six. It still beats Red Dead Redemption two by what a million yep. at sixty one million. So I, I just want to put this into perspective a little bit. How fucking crazy good this game sold. Super Mario. The original Super Mario. It's been out since 1985 on every Nintendo platform. A whole bunch of other places you can buy it. That game has sold 58 million copies since the year before I was born. <laughs> the original Mario. Like, the... The, the Mario. Mario. 
Mario Kart 8 Deluxe outsold that in six years. By a lot. That's widowy insane. And I, okay, and I want to I want to give you a little bit more too. Uh, what are the, I think it's eight, eight of the top 20 all time best selling games are Nintendo games. And, uh, I, I, I want to talk about this too. And hold on drip. And four of those, four of those eight in the top 20 the of all time are on switch games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I had to look way down the list here because I wanted to know, um, what, PlayStation game. I wanted to know what PlayStation first party game was like their big one, you know, because mm. Microsoft, whatever. The number one selling game ever is Minecraft at 300 million. But yeah, that's not. We fair. talked about last night. Microsoft doesn't get that. They bought it. Yeah. They bought that. They they probably bought that game after it, it was already, like a, had, already had like yeah. 100 million sold, probably. Grand Theft Auto 5, you know, that was that was one of those games that just went every single place and never stopped and still hasn't stopped. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't matter. But I wanted to go to another first party game. And the, the first Sony first party game I can find on the all time best selling video games list. Isn't Spider-Man, which I thought maybe it might be. It was not the last of us. It's horizon zero dawn. And, uh, we're talking about Nintendo and Mario Kart 62 million. I mean, Sony can't hold a candle to that. Their best-selling game of all time has only sold 24 million copies. <laughs> I mean, that just goes... That really puts into perspective how crazy Nintendo is doing right now. Like, this is... I don't think this will ever be done again like this, man. This is nuts. Like, the level that they are on right now... It, it's, it's weird because a lot of people don't really see it, you know, because, oh, Nintendo makes baby games, and nobody's paying attention. Right. But, I mean, the console sales are insane. They're about to be, you know, it's probably going to be the best-selling console of all time. The game sales are absolutely insane. It's not going to be, you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is not going to be the best-selling video game of all time. But it, it, it's beat out any of the other competition, you know, third-party games that have been out for years and years and years and selling on all these other systems. Hard to count those. When Dude. you see... Sorry, sorry, go ahead. When you see this game do this in six years on one system, you know, you don't even count the other one. It's 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 incredible. It's nuts. I want to highlight something in particular because this one hits home for me. Um, th That would be Pac-Man. Pac-Man has been sold a hundred billion times, right? Actually, more accurately, it's been sold 42 million. But, like, think about Pac-Man. Pac-Man is everywhere. Honestly, if you, if you include all the times it's been stolen and sold at Walmart for five bucks on a little baby handheld or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> like it's probably, it's probably the highest game of all time, but Pac-Man officially 42 million in sales. Pac-Man dude. Pac Who has not played Pac-Man? Pac-Man's like Tetris. It's the same boat, man. Everyone has played freaking Pac-Man. Animal Crossing New Horizons. It came out in 1980. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizons came out in 2020. 45 million. Yeah. 45 million on the yeah, Nintendo and, Switch. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, there's more and, than... And, and nothing, it's not, nothing against Animal Crossing fans. I'm not trying to, you know, throw shade at your your love of your franchise. It's not Mario, dude. It's not Pac-Man. It's freaking Animal Crossing. It's great. Okay, and, dude. It's great, but it's not the heavy hitter punch knockout like Pac-Man Breath is. of the Wild is number 10 on the all-time best-selling video games list. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number 9 on the all-time best-selling video games list. Like, just putting that piece of information, all that into perspective, I mean, we are watching something. I mean, we're watching something that we're not going to see again. We're not going to see this with the Switch, too. I mean, it'd be crazy if we did, but we're not. We're not going to see this this level of dominance no. <laughs> like they have right now. It is insane. These sales are just... I, I, I don't even know what else to say about it, man. It's just... it's It is absolutely crazy. That would be one of the more interesting things to see drip going into the next console. And we'll get into the winner that's going to be soon. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the game sales are like, because of course they're going to sell consoles at the start. It's going to be, this is going to be a different start to its life. The switch successor It's going to be a different yeah. start to its life versus the Nintendo switch's life that, that they're going to be different. They're going to sell more consoles. They're going to sell more games. Yeah. Especially I think they're going to set themselves up to do it. In, in a way where it's going to be like, okay, 
this is backwards compatible. All you got to do is log in. All your stuff's going to be here. All those games, you know, are probably going to look a little bit better, maybe run a little bit better. We got all the new ones too, but you can bring everything on over. Like a lot of people who bought Switches, you got to remember this too. They're not us who are like, oh, I got to get a NOLED. Oh, got to get a special edition. Got to get the Zelda one. Got to get the Splatoon. Got to get this. Got to get like some people are still rocking their OG Switch they got back in 2017. You know what I mean? I've, all those people are going to be like, hell yeah. Yeah. Of course I'm upgrading to this. It's an easy, I mean, it's an easy upgrade. Like, yes, yeah. especially backwards compatible if it actually is, which at this point, I, you know, it, I think it is. Um, yeah, you're right. The, the The start of this one is going to be so much different than the start of the Switch because the start of the Switch was good. They couldn't keep up with numbers, one. But it still wasn't like, you know, everyone was still like, ooh, is this actually going to work? Is like it looks cool, but is it is it really going to work? And then you know, people got their hands on it. Yeah, this is badass. It's awesome. And it, it went. But you're right. Th this is going to be a totally different beast, I think. And I think it all starts trip. I think it starts in June of this year because Nintendo did confirm at the investors meeting that we are getting a Nintendo Direct. They didn't necessarily necessarily say it was a full one, but I think we're presuming that it is as of now. No reason yeah, to I believe so, that it's yeah. not, At this point. especially from a tweet like that, talking about such a well, big yeah. situation, such a yeah, big announcement like that. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. yeah. Why would they, why on, why on this planet would they say, hey, okay, first of all, they've never done that ever, ever. Have they said, hey, in a month, they barely tell us a fucking week in advance. They said, <laughs> hey, in a month. In a month, we are going to have a Nintendo Direct. We're not going to tell you the date. But we usually get an announcement of a Direct the day before it happens, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe two days. Maybe, if we're lucky. Usually the day the day before, and they're like, tomorrow at 10 a.m., join us for 30 minutes of bullshit, this, that, whatever. They said, next month. Next month. Get ready for it. You Get ready for a Direct next month. First party games are coming. Now we don't we don't have is... a date, but we but it's from Furukawa's mouth himself. His little fingers on Twitter with his old man one reading finger. glasses. One finger. So that's right. His one finger with reading glasses. It's from him off Twitter. So this is not you know Pioro. This is not some other leaker out there. Pioro is actually kind of legit, but the, some of the other leakers who are not Samus Hunter. Um, none of those. Where's people. Samus Hunter been? Is that is that still a thing? I, I mean, it was for a while. There was a pretty funny ride. We were I haven't heard anybody talk Samus about Hunter. Samus Hunter in a no, while. Well, well, I think Samus Hunter stopped because it's you. Oh, yeah, that's right. It, it was actually <laughs> me. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> Where did you go, Drip? We already established that. I forgot. Yeah. I am Samus Hunter. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? I already forget because I forgot. I was talking about Samus Hunter. <laughs> that it wasn't just somebody online talking about right so this. we know this is not this is not you know we're not always pulling anybody's leg here this is actually happening in june we just don't know exactly when but I we mean, know that within the month of june we're getting a direct drip and i think I, the I, switch hold on. Wait, before we before we go on i just i just i want to acknowledge this too look at look at where we were as nintendo fans two weeks ago oh my god and look at where we are right now we know for sure the switch 2 is going to be announced in the fiscal year and we already know for sure from Nintendo's mouth, we are getting a Nintendo Direct next month. Like, have we ever been in this situation as Nintendo fans? We're like, we know everything. Yeah, next month, the Direct, they've already told us about. Like, that doesn't ever happen. I this represent. Crazy. I represent those uh, COVID baby Nintendo fans. The people who got, into, got, got back in Nintendo or got Nintendo for the first time during COVID got their switch when everything was locked down for us this is the this is the first this is the first this is time. the first dude no this is this the first is time the first. i'm all, the first i can only for speak everybody. for myself but if you say so as well then great this they is the never, no, no, this dude, is the first any. time that we have actually been able to like look forward and be excited to what's to come not because of leaks not because of rumors and i'm going to throw my buddy uh johnny love you buddy but on twitter you kind of said something dumb the other day, and I think you're I think you're sticking to your guns on it. And I, love, I saw his reel. I saw his reel. I on, didn't see uh, the reel yet. Instagram. I, I, I saw his reel on Instagram. I would last love night. to come on your show, or you can come on our show and explain yourself, or I can explain my side of it. Um, but Johnny, you're wrong, dude. I I, I know what oh, you mean. No. I know what you mean. Johnny said on Twitter that he he's not under he doesn't understand why this is a big deal. 
He doesn't understand the excitement around this because, quote unquote, to him, we already knew that this was happening. And if he were to word it differently, if he were to word it like, yes, we already presumed that this was going to happen and the, the confirmation of it doesn't excite me, then that, that's a fair opinion to have. But we did not know when the Switch 2 at all was coming out. Not even close. We still don't. But we, we now have a, a timeline where it, where it now gets cut off as far as like, you can expect this thing by March 2025. That is what they gifted us through the no, tweet. To see, to see it. To the see. The announcement it. will be right. before that point. Yes. Right. So there, it would, no later than March 2025, we will see the, or announce, the, we'll hear the announcement of the Switch 2. Yeah. We did not know that before. We all no. had our educated guesses. We all heard the we leaks. We assumed that. Yeah. We assumed we it from know. leaks. No, we did not. And if you're and on, what did if I you're tell on, you yesterday? What did you tell me? I as, still. What did you tell me like as I in, eat one of these Walmart ho hos? As a Nintendo fan, I still, all the time, they're pretty good about their release dates. I'll give them that. They're pretty good about staying true to release dates, unless it's a Zelda or something. You know, the Zeldas get delayed, whatever. But like right now, and what we've been through in the Switch's lifetime. You know, the Switch Pro was supposed to be a thing. Never happened. You know, the, the Switch 2 was supposed to be, you know, way earlier. Didn't happen. Got internally delayed, supposedly. You know, the Switch Pro turned into the OLED. This happened. That happened. Tears of the Kingdom pushed back. Like, we've got our hopes up for so many things that we think are happening. And then Nintendo's like, you know what? Actually, that's not happening. This is what's happening. So even though all of us were sitting here like, yeah, uh, 2025 it's gonna happen we're gonna get it 2020 or 2024 we're gonna hear about it we're gonna get it in 2025 i still was like are we though like i hope we do right i was in the same boat man i honestly i actually i i want to speak about this too (laughs) because i was starting a little bit down below i wouldn't have admitted it but i would i would i'd be lying if i said that there were a part of me wasn't thinking you know i i wonder you know, we all were convinced it was this year. We really were. Coming into this year, we were convinced it was this year. Maybe late this year. Prob- the year before prob- that, I would have told you it was the probably year Probably late this year, but we were convinced. No, nah, it didn't happen last year because we thought it would be last year too. Nope. Especially with Tears of the Kingdom. Nope. But after that, it's like, okay, fine. 2044 makes a lot of sense. Late 2024 makes a lot of sense. Going into 2024, we're like, this is going to happen. And then soon after, the, the leaks and rumors came out, and they were very reasonably credible. And we had lots yeah. of reason to believe that they were credible, that if this thing was delayed past this year, and that took this the wind out of all of our sails. And this announcement brings the wind straight back. Because while it's slightly upsetting to hear that, it could be literally 20, it could be March 31st, 2025, before we have an, a real announcement. And that means we wouldn't be holding the thing until like mid next year. Mm. While that's still slightly disappointing and a probable uh probable it could probably happen that way to be honest at least we now know we know now we don't have to i drip and i on our members podcast last week we watched our old videos i made the the worst uh holding up video of all time of all time when i predicted nintendo directs were gonna die i also no, you I, didn't, you didn't I, predict I also, they were gonna die you said they were already dead. That's right. They were I done made that video a couple years ago. Don't I even also, expect them. That's right. And I also made a video. Hottest about, take of any year ever. I, my first YouTube video on my Uncle G channel was was this is the last Switch Pro video you need to watch, and that was three years ago. <laughs> I <Nailed> could. It. <laughs> I could follow up. I could follow up that video now, knowing for certain. But that's the last video they need to watch. The last rumor video, at least, because we now know. Thanks to yeah, we're gonna Cal. know. I mean, I don't know. There, dude, there could be more rumors. That's the thing too. We'll get into this once we talk about that. Uh, there, there's the leaks are gonna start coming now because this shit. If they, if they're announcing it, that this they're locking up, they're locking up manufacturing right now. Oh, that's yeah. what they're doing right now. That's why this was announced. I picture they like Japanese men in like really awesome clothing and suits and like shiny shoes, just walking around with clipboards and like the coil earpiece. Like oh yeah, like blue uh, jumpsuits. Just like writing yes. stuff down, like mm-hmm. yeah. we're at, oh, yeah. at factories happening. that sweat fat, yes. sweaty factories. Like, all right, where are you? No, no, no. These are like the floors are white, the walls are white, everything's <laughs> yeah. super, super minimal sanit- and clean, sanit- uh, sanitized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. That, that's what, that's what the <laughs> Nintendo factories look like. I don't know if you know that, but no. Listen, that's why Excuse this me. is all happening. 
We'll get into that a little bit more once we get into the actual that part of it, because uh, I do want to jump back to the direct and like what what we could possibly see at this thing, because I do think it's going to be first party. But they're they're going to be going into manufacturing soon, very 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 soon. There's going to be more leaks. They will be leaks from the manufacturers. We will see shells. I guarantee it. I well, guarantee we're, getting, we're going to see. Drip, I, I, this is good, but we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's go. Let's take it back a step. Yeah. Step it back. Yeah. Back a step. Whatever. Um. Let's talk about the direct again. What what will we see in the direct? I mean, like, what are we going to see now? You know what we're going to see. It's actually, it's happening now. Come on, oh, dude. No, I see. You now, you're, you're going you too far it. now. You're going too far. You can't. No, you know it. You I know will. It. I, I gave you a mulligan the other day. I will give one, you. I'm not saying it. One, if not both, though. One, if not both. I, 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 I think this, we're going to, I'm going to give you a mulligan so you can talk about it. Go ahead. Just, dude. just talk about it. This is it. We're going to get another direct. We thought maybe like that was it, the last one. It was like, they don't have anything. Like, eh, we might get it. They might be able to announce it if they'd have this little window here. This is it. This is it. This you're is talking, where we you're get. You're talking about Zelda, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker. And Wind Waker. We get, we're going to get Wind Waker. We're going to get Wind Waker. We might get Twilight Princess. We might get both. We're getting one of them, though. We're getting one of them. Well, what, makes you think, sure. what makes you so certain that we're getting one or both? Because th this is it. This is it. Why not? Why, why wouldn't, like, this is the thing, and, th okay, here's the genius. Here's the genius behind it, because all right, all right. that's the, these are the ports that everybody wants. Everybody talks about these ports, right? Yes. And we know right now, they're kind of, like, coasting on whatever, and they're like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Now, this is a port, either one of these is a port that would sell extremely well. Not that the other ones aren't going to sell fine, because I'm pretty sure both those other ones that came out this year have already sold a million copies. But I bet, I bet Wind Waker on the Switch, six million copies? Now, you think that's crazy? Are we talking, now, here's a better question. Let's just assume we are getting one or both. Okay, let's just play. Okay. Let's live in this world. Are we getting an HD port? A second HD port. Because has Nintendo done this in history? Have they ever released an HD port and then released another HD port again later? Have they done that? Re-release it. Well, that, that's kind of weird they've, because now they've they're doing done, the... They've ported games. And they've, they, they've, and they've ported games twice, but they have not been an HD port and then another HD then port. the port of the HD port. Yeah, but they've already, that's the thing. They're moving all this stuff over... So it's off of disk and onto this system where it's going to carry over. I think it's. I they think haven't. It's all I'm saying deal. is they haven't done it. I mean, give me one they example no, where they've right. done that. Well, I mean, you know what? You know what they have done? They have put two Zelda HD remakes on one system. So maybe we're not even. Maybe that's not even what this is. Maybe we get a Zelda game and it's another HD remake. Like uh, we got uh, Skyward Sword. Mm -hmm. Never. Maybe we get another HD remake and it's. Ocarina of Time <laughs> HD. Now that would and be. And we get another two. I mean, be that, they've done it before. I mean, I, that's a little. That's that's out there. I don't know. I don't that know. That is what out we're there. Gonna get. I think. I think the easiest thing. And it just. God. Just give it to me, please. Just stop messing with me, Nintendo. Just give me my games. Why won't they give me my games, Jeeb? I don't. I don't know. I don't ask that much. I, I asked that question, Drip. That specifically, would they do that again? Would they port another HD port of another HD? I think port? they would because I think what, they're trying to. Would get they that do it when Drip? They have the other option too. You're not. You, you could. Don't forget about this option. They could remake the game. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of them. I, I, one we, or both. Then we talked about this. One or both. We talked it, about it, this. It's not out of the realm of possibility. I mean, we got Metroid. Once they release Metroid Prime Remastered, yeah, nothing is off the table. That was yeah. what a spectacular job they, they did with that. Right. They it, did. They did a great job with it, that. How? But, uh, I mean, how that's possible the thing. would it be to get a uh, uh, Twilight Princess remastered? Uh, that would be the one to do. We've talked about. Yes, this. we we did. You cannot get any better than what Wind Waker is right now. The style of you the, the art better. style it is, but it, okay, but it would not. It would not leave the same impact. No, it, it's already HD. Cool. Make it 4K. Make it run 60. Yeah. Okay. You can get a little bit better, but with the cell shaded graphics and the way that the art style was that's it you're there you know what i mean yeah you're there the textures and stuff on uh twilight princess they need redone like that would that is a game that could look absolutely insane as a remake i don't know if they'd go that far and do it 
But I mean, wow, it would look crazy. That Te- game technically needs drip. It. I will say just to be the I'm actually guy right now. Technically, they did re- actually <laughs> they did do the uh, the textures redo them for the HD port. They did redo them. They didn't you, do them very well. No, they did. They did, but they kept it very flat and very similar yeah. to the same. They kept it That's super true. They kept it super true to the original game, which is fine. And also, don't forget, both Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are 720p HD. They're not 1080p HD, which they would be on Switch. So I guess you could also make the argument that they will port it again HD because they'll just upscale to 1080p now and not 720p like it was in the Wii U. Did they run 30? They both ran 30. And so, yeah, dude, they could easily do 1080 60 on the Switch, right? To say the word easy would be an understatement because the 60 FPS thing. I do, I don't, I do know if working in the world of emulation, not working, you know, playing around in the world of emulation, you can't just run Twilight Princess or Wind Waker at, H, at 60 FPS. You have to, right. they have There's to be not a version that you, is, you can't just throw more power at those games right. and suddenly they exist. run 30 FPS. Even Breath of the Wild is the same way. You need to have modifications for that. Yeah. Um, so. It's not easy. I wouldn't say, I'm not going to say that that would be easy, but I would say it's doable. Okay. I would, I would I imagine. Know. What do you think? I wish I could what talk. What do you think going to be at this direct? You really want to know? You're going to say Metroid Prime 4. I tweeted it earlier. I don't see why not. I mean, this is the last. Can we say it? This is the, the last. Nintendo Switch, like for real this time, can we actually be yeah. for real no, this time? No, this is it. Like because we know we it. know that that we know the death date. We know where Nintendo Switch is getting put down by March 2025 in terms of being no, replaced. you're right. No, this is probably is it. this. There's a possibility in September. There's another direct. I, I but yeah, yeah. Can we start but to really then, say I, that that June is the last one? And don't forget, Nintendo doesn't usually lie to us. There are a lot of things. Besides That's Zelda 35th, they li- they are besides liars. Zelda the 35th anniversary, they they don't usually no, they're liars. they don't really they lie. lie to us that much. No, they lie. They lie to us. They well, don't lie to their investors, but they lie to us. Well, okay. What I mean is they're liars. They're liars. What I mean is everybody knows. Everybody and their grandmother knows that Metroid Prime Four is a Switch game. And are they really gonna go? Are they really gonna do that to the Metroid fans of Nintendo? Are they really going to go, you know what, guys? No, I don't. We told you in 2017, that, we, and it told you once again in 2019 after we were restarting everything, that we were going to put this thing on this console. And now, this is the, this is and the we're, we're the actually wild. just going to never acknowledge it ever again since 2019 and just pretend like we didn't say it and only release this game on the Switch 2. Because it's not, unless, we, didn't, that we, have, we would have heard by now something, that it was canceled, right? So we, I'm, we're under the assumption they're still going to make this game and it's not canceled. And if that's the case, it's 100% going to be on the Switch 2. But the question is, Drip, it's, pro- it's got to be on the Switch 1 as well. And if that's the case... I agree. It does. This direct makes a lot of sense to see at least a date. And if that date's 2025, that's fine with me too. But to see a date, like, well, we'll I'm see, th- no, how Nintendo, about this drip? How about this they're drip? They're not going to do that. January, us- January 2025, or may how about this? March 2025. No date. They, they, no date. Maybe the yeah, date comes later. Right. This, maybe the date comes later this year or next year. But either way, yeah, no date because it's going to draw. It's this is going to be the Breath of the Wild. Like it may not be the game, but it's going to be yeah, right. the game. Right. And, and, and this we, is like, going to be a, cro- a cross generation game for sure. Yeah, before, At this point, now that we know it's coming. There's absolutely no way this is not a cross generation game at this point, which we all kind of assumed anyway. But it's obviously at this point. You good? <laughs> uh, Nintendo of America just tweeted something. What did they tweet? To make sure. Uh... What did they tweet? Drip. Uh oh! Breaking news! Breaking news! <laughs> send in your screenshots straight to uh twitter anymore oh starting june 10th <gasps> wait 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 drip hold the As phone of june 10th 2024 it will no longer be possible to post screenshots and videos to x formerly twitter from nintendo switch's album G- or send friend requests or social media users via friend suggestion feature i have a theory that's only the Twitter one, though. The Facebook one still works. I have a theory. 
what this is this the is- be- this is the beginning of the removing of services. The most insignificant ones first, the ones that they don't use ever so they can shut down servers that they don't need. That is the beginning of it. I don't know. How, Listen, this how, is, we're how, not getting into I'm this re- right now. I'm reaching so far, my pectorals hurt. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> uh, we're not getting into this right now. That's interesting, though. Yeah. Whatever. We're not getting into it, yet you just went into it. <laughs> I, I thought it was something. They had a date or something. I was like, what is going on? Sorry. Yeah, caught yeah. my eye. Um, anyway. Yeah, I think Metroid Prime 4 is probably something we'll see. I think that's probably the whole reason they want to do a direct at that time. Um Oh, we got a we got a good message from uh, Jeff Trevena. By the way, what's up, man? Good to see you. Um, Twitter's API is too expensive now. That would make sense. That they, they basically just were like, "This is not worth the cost." Not worth it. People are not using. I mean, how many it. times have you ever done that? You know, I you know what during COVID, I think I I may have done it once or twice. Um, yeah, I've just done to, it maybe twice for one reason, and I think to it's, see how it's it worked. Same, well, yes, but it's, I think it's the same reason though. For Animal Crossing. <laughs> just yeah, get, yeah, yeah. It was Animal Crossing. <laughs> yep, that's what I did too. It was Animal Crossing. Getting those Animal Crossing pictures with your friends off your Switch. Yep. I just want. Yeah, I just wanted to. I had a cool picture, and I was like, "That's sick." Yeah, that's sick. I got to put that out there online. Mm-hmm. It's got to be on the line right now. Got to get it out there on the line. <laughs> on the line. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So drip. When when is the direct going to be in June? Late, mid, early. Does it matter? Not it really. doesn't matter. It's going to be in June. Who cares? Me my ho-ho. Oh, that'll be the thing. Oh, don't y'all. That'll be the next thing. That. That'll be the next thing everybody's like, oh, it's going to be the first week. The first week. It's the first week. It's that first Wednesday right there. And then they're like, well, you know, I heard, I heard actually they had to delay it because, uh, you know, some things and this, it's a second week and then it won't come and it'll be the last week. And I go, like, oh, yeah, I just got delayed. Like, Oh boy, I don't know when it's going to be. I have no clue when it's going to be. I don't care. I just know we're getting one for sure. They said it. Although drip, as you said, Nintendo lied. And you know what else, drip? Oh, I closed it already. I can't play it. Hold on. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, you know what else, drip? You can't hear it. Oh, it didn't play. Ruining my own joke. If, if there's anything that we know about Nintendo, it's that they can do anything at any time whenever they want. I, don't know I need that I on the sound. Feature. We need to get that on the soundboard. My little clip of Nintendo just saying what I just said, that they can do anything at any time whenever they want. Like, like Nintendo can just be like, Actu- I'm actually, uh, it's going to be in July. We're sorry. Pushed it. You know? June comes and goes, and they're just like, hey, by the way, yeah, actually, we yeah we had some July. we had some shit. Uh, you know, we we had a rough time had back there. Back. It was it was it was it was a rough ride. We had to we had to reschedule some things and you know yeah um yeah flat tire uh bad radiator oh yeah so but fuel pump happened. dude fuel pump went fuel right pump. went, went fuel straight pump up up the hill man it just stopped working and yep. pushed into the into the parking lot next to the liquor store weird yeah just like me um. Yeah, um <laughs> I think I've heard that story before. <laughs> so drip. Now we'll get to the good part. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. I wish I would have pulled that tweet up to show you guys who are watching this podcast, but I'll just go ahead and reiterate once again that after the investors meeting, after they said the June Direct was happening, actually, I think the June Direct actually was second to the first bit of news, which was, and Furukawa said Nintendo is going to be releasing the Switch successor in or by the end of the fiscal year this year, which is t- March 2025. So, Drip, they announced it. And you told me something interesting. They had to do this to okay. be not criminals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so listen, here's the thing <clears throat> they're going to need to start talking, like I was talking about earlier. All the stuff that they're going to need to line up for manufacturing and stuff like that, they're going to have to start talking to banks, thing like investors. Like they have banks that invest in the company, but these people, the money people who are going to be doing some of this stuff, they're going to have to know some of these. Uh, some of these manufacturing places are going to have to know certain things. They're going to have to. So. Some investors are going to know things that other investors wouldn't know, and that is not allowed. Uh, Japanese has very uh, Japan has very tight laws 
on insider trading and things like that. You you cannot tell anybody anything unless the, every, what, everybody has to know. So they were kind of forced into this at this point. Because, again, if they're going to do this at the time they're going to do this, they've got to start setting up manufacturing. They've got to start talking to people. they got to they got to make sure that these facilities are going to be theirs. They're not going to have to worry about things down the line that something's wrong or they can't get enough of this out. They can't get enough of that. So people have to know. You know, they have to know certain things. So they they basically did the bare minimum. It's literally the bare minimum they had to do to make sure that now they can start telling some of these other people the details that don't quite matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now that it's out there, now that everybody knows, okay, it's coming this year. So, you know, there's no insider trading going on. Like, they know it's coming this year, but they don't know it's coming this year. Everybody knows. Nobody's got to know what's in it. You know, that's not the big deal. If but you want to see it, when you it's can, coming, but it's going to be in a box and you put your arms through it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it they, they've got to they've got to know that it's coming because you can't you can't have somebody knowing that knowledge and then being able to use it <laughs> to their advantage. It's insider trading. You can't do that. Nintendo would get in a ton of trouble for it. I, I mean, you can't. So they had to say the bare minimum to at least let everybody know that it's coming. So everybody's on the same and playing field with whatever. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Drip. I don't think they wanted to do this, especially oh, in the, no. especially in this manner. Well, no, and they want to keep the secrecy because that's that's the advantage they have. That's why Nintendo does what they do. The secrecy is their weapon. It's their it's their uh, it's the fuel for their hype machine. Is what mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, the secrecy is the, is is their secret sauce. It's what gets us so excited every time something like this happens. Because we know nothing. They keep us in the dark, and then it's just like, you know? And, and this is the type of thing that, that, I mean, they know they do it. They know they do it. That's why they do what they do. They're very aware of what they're doing. This is not just like a, oh, we're, we're, just, we're just quiet. No. They're quiet for a reason. They do this on purpose. I mean, look at any other company that deals with this stuff. They don't do this. No. They don't do this. I mean, Microsoft showed us the, the Series X at... Uh, the game awards a year in advance just out of nowhere dropped the trailer and showed us what it looked like at the game awards yeah i mean you know it's 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 just an uh, and from thing. a from a technology technology standpoint google it's they've been the butt of the joke for years with their hardware because the, their stuff it always gets leaked out they're the worst Apple gets secrets. leaked too. I feel like but I Google, see that. Google like whatever is the, the new phone. Google is I know, but Google is the worst. The, I mean, Apple's bad. It's hard with the, these these phone manufacturers making phones every year. It is super yeah. difficult to keep this stuff a secret. So Apple's a oh part yeah, because it. it's it's nonstop <coughs> manufacturing. It's yeah. always going through somewhere Apple else. Just, somewhere else. Apple just put out those new iPads with the M4 chips. That was already leaked, man. It was already out there that the M4 chips were coming with the new iPads. Like like Apple's not a not immune to it. But Google yeah. is the worst, and Google knows that they're the worst. So to and they stop. Stopped trying to prevent the leaks, and now Google leaks them themselves. Literally, they bought they a billboard. They bought a billboard in New York City before they told anybody about this the new phone, and they put the phone, the back of the phone, that looked different, they put it on the billboard, and they called it, then they gave the name out. Like the Pixel, I think it was that, that was the 7 at that point. I don't remember exactly when they did this, but like that's the point. Is like, uh, what was the point of why I brought that up? What were you we just talking about? I mean, like leaking, it, keeping it a secret. I mean, yeah, just keeping the secrets, man. That, that's yeah. what they like to do. That's yeah. what they like to do. So Nintendo is really them. good at it. Nintendo's, is, Nintendo is they're yeah. also not and a phone I mean, manufacturer. We've had some stuff leak really out. Like even it. with the Switch, we had uh, the Switch Lite shell. Yeah. A picture of that leaked from the factory. That's what I'm saying. Once these factories start making these oh, things. Yeah. We're, and we're going to be there gonna, soon. Yeah, we're going to start seeing some stuff. And I mean, who knows when that's going to happen? I mean, if we're getting it in the fit, I mean, what? How, how long do we have? Seven months? Eight months? Ten months. It's ten. Is it ten? It's Holy ten months. Shit. It's way too long. Ten to March. <sighs> yeah, it's not that soon, Drip. It's really not. <laughs> but at least we have something. Oh, yeah, but I mean, that's the end of it. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be earlier than that. Do right. you want to get into that? Do you want to do, mm, do that? Lovely segue. That okay, tastes well, just as is, good this as this other gonna, ho -ho I'm going to try to make this into here. a video. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to at least give us a scenario here so I can use it uh, close to the beginning sure. of the uh, of the video. So we, 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 we trying to figure out how to phrase this. Uh, 
basically what we're going to do, we need to figure out when this thing's coming out. Yeah. All right, G. We know. We're going to see the Switch 2. And we know it's a Switch 2, by the way, because uh, another thing we haven't talked about yet, I do want to I do want to bring up really fast before we, we move all the way on. Uh, the someone asked if it's if it's a switch too, and they responded with, uh, "Switch next model is the best way to describe it." Yeah, and we're gonna so get more. We're gonna get more of the translations coming from this investors meeting soon. It takes yeah. some time to translate that whole thing and get us a whole, um, you know, li list of what they said. So we'll know more in detail soon enough, but. Yeah, that, that's a little nugget of information right there. Yeah, yeah, I did. I don't want to. That's very interesting. So we know it's a hybrid, but Jeeb. Yes. The Switch 2 is coming in the fiscal year of 2025. That ends March of 2025, correct? That is correct. Or the fiscal year of 2024. Is that right? I guess yeah, it would the, be the fiscal, the fiscal year, year of 2024. And then 2025 ends in starts March after that. 2025. All right. Either way, this fiscal year, we're getting the Switch to announcement. Now, we've got a long time. As you just said, we've got 10 months. 10 months, a, a, an entire year almost. This thing could be announced tomorrow. It's probably not going to be announced tomorrow. But we've got basically from tomorrow until uh what march 31st next year right. so i want to i want to go through some things here i want to talk with you about how this thing's going to be announced when it's going to be announced and when it's going to be released and i think you and i have uh two different ideas on that so let's start uh when when do you think when do you think it's going to be announced what, what's your window are, are you looking at uh uh, late 2024 are you looking at early 2025 are you looking at summer man since this news dropped it's been a whirlwind in my own brain as far as what i think is gonna happen it, you know if you hold me under gunpoint i'm probably gonna tell you that we're gonna hear about the thing for the first time in march of 2025 and that is kind of a bummer that's yeah. a, that's a downer but I'm just saying, like, if you had to, yeah, I had to give you an answer, and my life depends on accuracy, I would go with the latest day possible because this is Nintendo. And as we know, Drip, Nintendo can do anything they want at any time they want, oh, whenever I know. You they that. want. You keep saying that. So, that is late. That's late. <laughs> it is late. It's late. I'm not, but I, Drip, I am an optimist, Drip. I had inflection in the wrong spot there. I am an <laughs> optimist, Drip. And I believe that we're going to see this thing sooner than that i would love to tell you that in september they drop the first trailer of the console with a name and we know the thing is called by september of 2024 and then they actually release this thing in march with some other trailer happening between september 2024 and march 2025 somewhere between there we'll have a date announced as well Probably about three months out, so maybe January after the Christmas rush. That so is, you think the first time we see it, and that's another thing. That is my optimistic time. That is yeah. my optimistic okay. timeline. That's not terrible. I, I'm I'm with you on some of that, but I've got I've got some I've got some little nuggets I want I want to throw in there that I, I love, think would be I love super me some fun. nuggies, man. Um, okay, I do want to talk about that because I heard some people talking about that about the Christmas rush, and they don't want to talk about it before Christmas, but. I feel like, and I, I know you kind of disagree with me on this, but I feel like now it's too late. Like, we know it's coming. Like, I feel like the Christmas, they're going to have to do something, like a sale, some really good bundles, something to get the sales to keep moving. But we already know. Like, they just told us that the, the, the cat's out of the bag at this point. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I, I don't feel like people are going to be lining up to get a Nintendo Switch unless it's a good deal at this point. So I think that it is going to be talked about before summer your september thing i'm with you on that a little bit a little bit but i'm i'm gonna go uh september is not when we will see it i do believe that is the first time they will actually talk about it but i think that is to tell us that in uh october there will be an event mm. and that is where they will unveil it that's uh because that's likely because I here I, i'm going with this I'm kind of going with the whole, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The release of the Switch was great. The timing was perfect. 
everything lined up, uh, you know, the stars aligned. Things went really well for Nintendo. I don't see why they wouldn't just do the same thing again. Now, hear me out on this. We go September. They they give us an announcement. They let us know there's going to be an event in October. Okay, Classic Nintendo, we, an announcement for an announcement. Yes. We're going to look at this thing in October a little bit. We're going to get some, some general specs. We're going to know what it is. Then we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get a release date, okay? And this is this is where I think Nintendo could just knock it out of the park if they do this. If, if they do this, this would be... Oh, this would be so big. What What is Nintendo's biggest, most well-known franchise, Jeeb? I mean, that would be Pikmin, of course. I mean, it's silly Pikmin. goose. It's Pikmin. Mario. Yeah. Obviously, it's Mario. It's Mario. Yeah. So... We are going to get, we're going to get a, a new 3D Mario dropped with this thing. That's going to be the release game, okay? That is what this is going to be. Are you ready for this? We're going to see it again. We're going to see it again in January, okay? We're going to see it again in January. We already yeah. know the release date, which I haven't told you that because I'm building up to that. I would say late in, January. I, I, I would, I, it was going to be a little bit of time after Christmas, yeah, I we'll think. we'll see it. Then we'll, we'll, you know, we'll know there's a Mario game coming out. Here's here's when the release date is, and this is this is the perfect thing. We've got the Switch 2 coming out, following just what the, the Switch 1 did, coming out in March, coming out with a 3D Mario to launch, and it's coming out March 10th. My mm. birthday. Ah. Also Mario Day. Also Mario Day. Super Mario Day. I feel like and I, I want I want to back this up a little bit, okay? Even when the Switch came out, they had just started kind of doing it. They didn't they didn't push Mario Day like they push Mario Day now. You know what I mean? It yeah. wasn't as big of a deal. Like it always was like, oh, Mario Day, whatever. They never really made it a thing. They make it a thing now. We got announcements the last Mario Day. We got stuff the Mario Day before that. Mo the movie. Why dude, the not? movie came out or yeah. was announced and, during and, that time. Well, and they told us this year that the second one's in development. Right. And we got what else did we get? We got dates for those other two games that are coming out. Luigi's Mansion and uh Thousand Year Door. Thousand Year Door. Yeah, thank you. Why not drop the thing on March 10th? Why not on Mario Day with a 3D Mario to kick it off? I mean, how much bigger could you get? How much bigger could you get? I don't know. I mean, you that could. would be wild. Obviously, you guys know that the last Mario 3D Mario game to truly be released on the Switch was the first one, and that is Super Mario Odyssey. And that was in 2017. So now sitting here in 2024. And actually, by this time, it'd be 2025. I think yeah. that'd be well overdue and and highly welcomed by everybody. That if the, the next, maybe, maybe it's the successor. With, you know, it, this is the Switch successor, right? Maybe the Mario Odyssey successor. Mario Odyssey 2 comes out next to the Switch 2. On See, I don't know day. if they're going to do that. I, I don't mean, know if they're going to do Mario I'm Odyssey just trying to again. make I think a cool, they're going to go somewhere else. But it could be. It I'm could just be. painting right. a fun picture. It doesn't have yeah. to be that. Oh, but just, that is a very fun picture. But love, just think just think about, it's it so doesn't fun. matter what it is, exactly. A 3D Mario game, the next iteration in the series, is going to be dropped on launch day. On Mario Day with the Switch 2, whatever it's called, Switch Pro, Switch Super Switch, please. Can we will that into existence? Lord of I mercy. I mean, seriously, tell me. Please. Tell me a better scenario. Down in the comments, because we are making this a video. Down in the comments, tell me a better scenario than the Switch 2 dropping on Mario Day with a 3D Mario, and it's called the Super Switch. I don't know, Drip. What it I do know is, you, is what I do know is you can click in the description and listen to this podcast that we're recording right now live on our YouTube channel. That's going up on your channel. You can watch the whole episode of this uh, of, of this episode. You can listen to the whole thing on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also subscribe to get uh, weekly live episodes. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, Drip, it's your channel. That's it. We're done. We're done here. That's all I wanted to talk about. I'm excited. You should do the Very hat thing. For our YouTube members who watched us watch old videos of yours, you should do for old time's sake, Drip. Old time's sake. We'll do it. We'll do it in syncrasy. Come on. Come on. No, I got headphones. Come on. on. I can't. Come on, Drip. Come on, do it. do it. Come on, no. do it. I'm doing I it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Bye, guys. P.S. I edit these videos. I'll do it anyway. That's fine. You can take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. We had Remind to... me to make you a intro for that too tomorrow. Oh uh, yeah, we'll make a little. Yeah, we're gonna put uh, guys uh, who are listening, who are still audio side of things, stream guys. We, I think we kind of warned you. We we're gonna make. A, we we're gonna turn a little segment of this episode into drip, a drip video. So hey, there we go. Try, trying something new out. It's always fun. 
Um, but yeah, Jared, uh, going real quickly before we wrap this up today on this uh, podcast, which we're now back in podcast mode, guys, on our channel here, live with us. Hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> Centro Leaks from Twitter. Centro Leaks uh, posted something that kind of uh, makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to read it verbatim for you guys. New Switch 2 leak via Brazilian TVPH. This is the same person that originally correctly leaked the internal delay of the next uh, of the console to next year. Switch 2 planned to release on March 2025, expecting more information about the console in fall. So this, so that'd be around September. Um, more remasters will be revealed in, on the June Direct this year, being planned as the last big Switch-focused Direct. Indie World planned for August. Some third-party games will be confirmed for the Switch 2 as early as the second half of this year, like Metroid Prime 4 potentially. Reiterates that the Switch 2 will have physical and digital backwards compatibility with the OG Switch. I want to say one thing, Drip. That is one hell of a leak. I mean, that is that is, that is a whopper of information. And that makes me scared that this is trying to to trying to take advantage of the clout they gained for maybe being right the first time or a lucky guess and now trying to really pull our legs here. Oh, it's all safe. It is a lot of safe stuff. It's all safe. I mean... Listen to what I just said. It was all pretty safe, too. Hey, hey by the safe. way, Mario's in the chat. Hi, Mario. The Mario. Drips a leaker now. Yahoo! Is what, you missed an opportunity. Mario, you missed an opportunity there, buddy. You missed an opportunity. Oh, no! <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. Uh, yeah, Drip. This is safe. It's very safe. It's extremely safe. But like I said, what I just said is very safe, too. I mean, it's fun. What I said at least is fun. It releases on Mario Day. I mean, with a 2D or a 3D Mario, I mean, safe. All that's super safe. It's calling mm -hmm. it the Super Switch, real possibility, and I think, at this point. Super Duper Switch. Uh, super Switch to be Riot. Exactly. Egg Always Super Switch to be exactly. Riot. Trip is Pyro. Yes, I am. I am. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. It's all safe. I don't know. The, the all, that's the thing. We're going to be seeing a ton, a ton of this now. All these leaks coming out now. Everybody wants to everybody wants to jump on now. All the people who want to be leakers and want to say all the stuff and do all the things and blah, 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 like, you know. The Samus Hunter. I'm coming back. World. You know, Samus Hunter, me. I'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be back on X making making bold statements soon. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. That was the biggest con of all time. We made fun of Samus Hunter, but we both knew it was you. <laughs> yes. It was me the whole time. It was. Um I don't know, man. I, you know, the leaks and stuff, just get ready. Get ready, because the yeah. floodgates are about to open. The the leaks are are literally. Uh, I I would not be surprised if we get something brand new every single week from now until the end of the year. Like that would not surprise me whatsoever. The floodgates are indeed open. Drip for the after show. We're all gonna flood right into there. The dam is lifted. Uh, for those of you on the audio or YouTube video side of things, we're gonna sign off for now. Those of you on the stream, we're gonna hang out in the after show. We will see you guys next week with hopefully even more information about the Switch Two. Yeah. This is like the whole year is Christmas now. We'll see you next week. Later. Thank you.